millions of payments are being processed at any given moment, the ways consumers pay continue to evolve at a rapid pace. As a merchant, you need to keep up and adapt to the ever-expanding payments landscape to offer the best possible experience for your customers. This creates enormous fragmentation across your tech stack, requiring engineering resource to manage, and especially as you look to optimize for payment success. And this doesn't stop with payments. You may be leveraging a huge range of other tools to better support customers and improve operations. You may want to send an automatic confirmation email once a payment has been captured. You may want to update your customer support team via Slack when a dispute has been raised. You may want to generate a shipping label and keep your customer informed throughout the fulfillment process. What if you could automate all this through a unified checkout and integration and drag and drop workflows? What if you could do all this with clicks instead of code? Hi there, my name is Paul Anthony and I head up product and engineering at Primer. And I'm excited to welcome you to our first ever product keynote where I'll be giving you an overview of our product and to walk you through some of our exciting new developments. You know, it was just a couple of years ago that my co-founder Gabs and I started Primer after having met at Braintree and PayPal where we worked closely with some of the world's largest and most sophisticated merchants to help solve their challenges across payments and commerce globally. And you'll be familiar with many of these challenges if you've worked in payments within your organization, either as an engineer or member of the payments-related teams, having to deal with tons of third-party integrations with checkouts and PSPs, local and alternative payment methods and fraud platforms, potentially card issuing services, payouts and logistics, in addition to a whole host of other tools on the front and back end designed to enhance the payment experience, boost payment success and improve operations. And we've seen how this technical fragmentation across the entire common stack not only impacts checkout, often increasing friction and reducing flexibility overall, but raises many challenges for finance and data teams due to a lack of observability. And so the bottom line is everyone from engineers to CFOs need a better way of implementing, understanding and reasoning about payments in order to do their jobs better. And I'm gonna tell you a lot more about that today. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to my co-founder, Gabs. Hey, I'm Gab, co-founder of Primer, where I look at everything sales and partnership related. Since we started Primer, we've conducted hundreds of workshops um, with merchants across the globe. This gave us unique insights into the business and technical challenges merchants are facing when trying to expand and manage their payments and commerce stack. It's very clear to us that the payment landscape is getting more and more fragmented, and this across all use cases, including marketplaces, subscription, B2C, and B2B. Without exception, every single merchant we talk to are planning to expand their infrastructure. They all want to do a couple of things. They want to make their business global. They want to launch new countries and adapt their checkout to local preferences and customer behavior. They want to do that by adding more payment methods and processor. They want to meet new regulations, tech SCA, which was enforced a few weeks ago. Actually, some of you may have seen some declines. Well, that's something that we've been helping merchants optimize a lot over the last couple of weeks. Merchants also want to gain more flexibility and create new commerce experiences to differentiate themselves. And lastly, they want to improve performance, cost, and gain clear data insight across their commerce stack. On the other hand, all services in the ecosystem, such as PSPs, buy now operators, fraud providers, local payment method, payout services, accounting software, and the list goes on, are looking to get fast and seamless activations. We create a primer in a clear and direct response to all this. We're here to help merchants make payments and commerce a real point of differentiation and lever for growth. We're also here to create a new market dynamic for all services in the ecosystem by becoming a new distribution channel to drive more activations. Today, you'll hear from our merchants and partners, which will share how they've been integrating and partnering with Primer. All right, so let's get started with Primer and we begin with Universal Checkout. Universal Checkout enables you to offer a unified checkout experience for your customers, irrespective of where your payments are being processed. And this is absolutely critical for boosting conversion and maintaining visibility of the customer throughout the journey. So let's get fired up with the new Primer CLI. 
This will create a primer account for me, set up my API keys and provide me with a demo store so I can play around. And for now, we have a number of example projects and SDKs to choose from, so I'll go with Web and React. Here you can see Universal Checkout on the right-hand side, fully in context on the store and pre-configured with some payment options. And I'm gonna dive into the code here to show you just how simple it is to implement Universal Checkout. And don't worry, this will be non-developer friendly and, and won't take long. And it takes only a few lines of code to initialize and render Universal Checkout. Here you can see us passing in payments and order data. And what you're seeing here is our brand new SDK, which requires no additional backend work in order to securely process payments. So this is now all you need to accept and process payments with Universal Checkout. And it works broadly the same way on mobile as it does on web. Now, you'll be right to be skeptical that this could possibly facilitate the complex dynamics of your payment flows and payment options, because in payments today, it takes a lot of work to introduce new payment methods and manage sophisticated business logic around routing and authorization, tokenization and vaulting, 3D secure, and a host of other challenges, including ensuring the payment experience remains in context in order to optimize for conversion. But the way we do payments is different, and we started out by building a unified payment lifecycle across all payments and payments services with our unified payments API. So as an engineer, you only have to reason about payments once and you only have to learn payments once. For cards, we've built our own PCI compliant tokenization engine in Vault, so you can store payment methods centrally. We also have our own unified implementation of 3D Secure and an intelligent bin data service, which continues to get more accurate as we process payments globally across processes. It's pretty cool. We're also launching many other foundational payment services in the near future, including card verification, account updater, and network tokenization. All this being critical infrastructure to help you boost payment success across your entire payment stack in a 100% agnostic way and to recover more payments. So let's log into Dashboard and see how we might configure our checkout. So firstly, we're greeted with the payment snapshot, which gives you a unified view of your payments performance, usage, and trends. And this will soon evolve to offering more comprehensive, actionable analytics and insights from across the primer sphere, as we call it. And we'll be sharing more on this in the near future. So here we are in Checkout Builder, and this is what enables us to dramatically reduce the technical overhead in implementing payments on the checkout. As you can see, we have an easy to use interface for managing payment methods with comprehensive conditions for payment method presentment. Here, we're deciding only to present PayPal to customers in certain regions, and we can configure any number of PayPal accounts and other payment methods. I'd like to point out that for wallets such as Apple Pay and Google Pay, we have native integration, so we're able to decouple payment methods from end processes in order to provide you with unparalleled flexibility. Now, these are just the payment methods we've configured for this demo, so check out the Primer website. We're adding new payment options every week. So now anyone in your organization can configure and manage payments on the checkout across both web and mobile without writing code. It's never before been this quick and easy to offer the payment experience your customers expect wherever they are. Now, for the real heart of the Primer platform, workflows. Our initial vision for workflows was to enable merchants to build sophisticated payment flows in order to optimize for overall payment success, including but not limited to improving authorization rates, reducing cost, improving conversion at checkout, unifying fraud efforts, and implementing smart fallback and retry strategies. Essentially, enabling you to implement enterprise-level business logic across the payment lifecycle without code. And this is one of the very biggest pain points that merchants deal with today. We've heard from merchants with more than 100 engineers and their teams working on this, often resulting in monolithic and inflexible systems. Now, we're about to launch a big upgrade to Primer Workflows, and I wanted to give you an early preview of that today. So like many other automation platforms, workflows operate through apps, triggers, and actions. So here you can see a list of workflows we've constructed earlier, and, and these ones are all triggered by Universal Checkout, and specifically Universal Checkout's Create Payment Trigger. And this fires once a customer has gone through a front-end payment flow or entered their payment details on the checkout and, and clicked pay. I'm gonna add a conditions block and we'll specify my criteria. We'll go with first payment as the payment type and you'll be familiar with this if you handle recurring payments. And Visa is the card scheme. And we derive this value from our intelligent bin data service, which I referred to earlier. And once those conditions are met, we'll prompt the customer for 3D Secure, which is an action on our checkout app. This is made possible due to our internal 3D Secure implementation, so we can decouple 3DS from your end processor. 
I should note, this level of flexibility has been critical in enabling our merchants to combat challenges around SEA, which has come into full force within the past few weeks, causing a massive spike in declines for merchants operating across the UK and EEA. We'll then authorize the payment with an authorized payment action on our payments app, selecting an initial processor and a fallback. And then we'll go ahead and capture funds. So now we have a complete end-to-end -end payment flow triggered by Universal Checkout. So now let's go ahead and process a payment. And here I'll click into a Primer payment and we can check out the timeline. Now, Primer isn't a black box, we're a technical infrastructure. So you can see our requests and responses from your processes and we'll be introducing this degree of observability to workflows too. And there we go. Now anyone in your payments teams can build sophisticated routing to optimize for payment success. But that's not all. Primer workflows can support any number of third-party apps through Primer Connect, which is our app framework for Primer workflows. And we're currently in the process of building a whole host of apps to use on Primer. So now, not only can you connect products from across the payments and commerce stack and include them in your payment flow seamlessly, such as fraud platforms, KYC, loyalty and rewards, card issuing, payouts, shipping logistics services, and many more, but also products from across the web in general. So you can improve customer support and internal operations by adding actions and triggers from Slack, Zendesk, Twilio, SendGrid, and hundreds more in the future. Here are some workflows triggered by non-primer services so you can create sophisticated commerce flows in context of your payments infrastructure. There are countless use cases for this and we're discovering new ones constantly. And we'll be talking a lot more about this in the near future. Now over to Gabs. Our goal is to become the biggest enabler for commerce. Today, we have merchants live in all regions. When working with businesses, our objective is to create a real partnership act as an extension of their team and provide a real tech, commerce, and payments expertise. We want to help them accelerate their payments and commerce roadmap. For third parties, Primer is a new and open distribution channel to go to market. We're completely agnostic and any service can be on Primer. We work very closely with our partners in order to ensure that they get faster and higher quality activations. Now let's see how some of them are working with Primer. Hey guys, this is Harsh from Zenium. Hi, my name is Mija. I work as a product manager at Naked. My name is Kellogg from Nash. Hi, I'm Kyle from Veeps. We work with Primer. Hey, I'm Will from Kadra, and we're working, working with, with Primer. Primer. Hey, I'm Andrew from Joyride. My name is Dumiranda. I'm the head of IT at uh, 77 Diamond. Hi, I'm David. Hi, my name is Vitas of Kilo Health, and, and we are working, working with, with Primer. Primer. You need global reach and you need to add all these other different payment methods, that is where the challenge really comes in. On average, to, to integrate with a, a single provider could take a month. When we're trying to offer different payment methods to our customers, it does become uh, a significant amount of projects to manage. Being able to use Primer has allowed us to really focus on what matters to us. We're excited about the opportunity to orchestrate payments across multiple PSPs. We'll get uh, a massive improvement for our business and for our customers. We decided to partner with Primer um, because we want to have a seamless and secure checkout experience for our customers. We just integrated with Primer and it makes life easier. It's so user-friendly. I mean, you don't even have to be a developer to set that up for our, for our customers. We can have a different workflow for each individual customer and that level of flexibility means the world to especially multinational customers. As the industry of payments continues to evolve, we don't feel like we'll ever be behind. Primer really facilitates this global ecosystem and being able to turn on and off access to these different geographies. Dynamic 3D Secure feature has been great. Because it has auto rise uh, for these transactions and uh, they are automatically recovered with like zero configuration from our backend. Being able to have all of our data centralized in one place is, is a huge advantage. Now we can just go to the dashboard and enable various other providers. Primer's been an amazing partner to us, so they, they really truly understand our needs and listen, and they constantly impress.
Hi, my name is Nicholas. I'm from Atomi. Hi there, I'm Katie Zietlin from Riskified. Hi, it's Vivian from Airlogs. And, and we've partnered with Prime. Prime. Hi, I'm Moritz. I work for Klarna. I'm John at uh, Bring Commerce. My name is Lucas from The Local. I'm Rich Kotite. And, and we've, we've partnered, partnered with Primer. Primer. We only have to integrate once with Primer, and that will actually enable Atomi for all our merchants. Merchants are looking to price products in their buyer's preferred currency, looking for support for like-for-like -like settlement and payouts. And so they might find it challenging to manage all of these integration timelines. Not having to code is really a wonderful thing. And with only one integration, that actually saves them a lot of technical effort. Primer, it's a company that when it promises something, they can deliver in a super easy way and super fast. It becomes so much easier for these merchants to then do all the things that they want to do, which they don't have time to prioritize otherwise. To ensure that merchants can really leverage and build a seamless payment experience for their customers. It's ended up actually being like having another extension of our own partner team. It's been really collaborative. By adding Primer, we also add hundreds of developers, connectors in one go. Primer is kind of constantly adding to their technical abilities for their merchants. We're trying to be the best of what we do and Primer is the best of what they do. Primer as a company is really making sure that the merchant gets exactly what they're after when integrating Primer. In partnering very closely with Primer, that we're essentially enabling open banking payments for the broader ecosystem of merchants all over the world. But it's really enabling more commerce use cases uh, in a much broader fashion. Thanks so much to our customers and partners there. And as I think you can see, we're aiming to be as much an enabler for third-party services as we are for our merchants. And that's really our North Star to become the biggest enabler for commerce in the world. Now, I'd like to talk about something we've been putting a lot of thought into recently, one-click checkout. If you're not familiar, one-click checkout services aim to improve conversion on checkout by storing customer details in a shared vault across an entire network of partner merchants. So if a customer has registered their details on any merchant store, they can sign in and purchase quicker next time, resulting in fewer cart abandonments and a swift and painless customer journey. And there are a host of providers out there today offering this kind of solution, such as ShopPay, Fast, and Bolt. However, this does not preclude merchants' requirements to build out comprehensive and sophisticated payments and commerce stacks to connect the providers they want to work with and build the payment flows that they need to optimize for cost and performance. And so in just the past couple of months, we established a one-click checkout team to offer our merchants one-click checkout with no compromises. And we're making this available via Universal Checkout so there'll be no additional integration work. Let's take a look at an early preview. And so here I am presented with Universal Checkout. You've seen this before, but now I'm prompted to supply my contact details upfront as a first time user. You'll notice we still have other payment methods I've configured in Checkout Builder and I'll select cards. And now my order is complete. I'm prompted to enter a one-time passcode to check out faster next time on this store or participating stores. So I'll do that. So let's now head over to another merchant site, which looks suspiciously familiar, but don't mind that. It's an entirely different store. So let's authenticate and check out. How cool is that? And the beauty is that just like any other payment method, this triggers an end-to-end -end workflow to process the payment, as well as triggering any other third-party apps and services I'd like to use throughout the payment lifecycle. And due to our centralized PCI compliant vault, this is compatible with all payment providers. And we're not done there for universal checkout. Now, Many of the folks at Primer are enthusiastic about Web3 and crypto, and as we've been working globally with more merchants, we've seen a greater appetite for accepting crypto as a method of payment. The potential benefits for merchants are many. These are cash final transactions, often with near instant settlement and no fees, depending on the methodology, and no chargebacks. And if you're unfamiliar with crypto wallets, there are two main types, custodial and self-custodial. The first, where users' private keys and effectively direct access to funds and assets are held by third parties such as Coinbase, Crypto.com, eToro, and so on. And the second, self-custodial wallets store private keys where only users have direct access to them, such as Coinbase Wallet, MetaMask, etc. And this has been on our radar for some time, and similar to one-click checkout, we wanted to ensure we could provide merchants and partners with maximum extensibility in implementing crypto alongside other more traditional payment methods. Well, you 
universal checkout and workflows makes this all possible. And so we're excited to announce we'll be launching support for Web3 wallets on universal checkout, as well as support for crypto platforms and exchanges so you can convert crypto to fiat currencies as part of the payment lifecycle. Primer has been working closely with Coinbase to bring their products to the checkout. Here's Andrew Rogers from Partnerships at Coinbase to tell you more about this. So crypto as a payment method is evolving dramatically, especially in the last probably one to two years. As the medium of exchange use case for cryptocurrency is on the rise, more and more people are building their entire financial lives with digital assets. So using these assets to purchase real goods and services is just a natural extension of that, of that trend. We believe that cryptocurrency will sit right alongside all of the traditional payment methods that you see in your checkout experience today. And we believe Primer is very well positioned for that reality in the future. Merchants are having to accept all different kinds of payment methods. And today, most of the time for orchestrating all of that, they have to build all of that in-house, all of these integrations. So they have teams that they're staffing for all of this. They're spending huge amounts of budgets to build all of these things and orchestrate them together. With Primer, and especially with commerce as well plugged into it, all of the complex, complexity of payment orchestration is removed, and all of the complexity of holding, managing, and dealing with cryptocurrency on the commerce side is removed. So with commerce, you're enabling crypto easily, and with Primer, it's able to fit into your existing payment stack with a click of a button. Finally, crypto comes to the checkout and we're super excited about this. Now, for one-click checkout and Web3 payments, we're working with a select group of merchants to test this, so if this is something you're interested in exploring, get in touch. Now, there's a recurring theme we keep coming back to over and over again, payment success. Whether that involves availing the payment options your customers expect on checkout, routing to the right providers to improve performance, leveraging appropriate services and tools to prevent fraud and chargebacks, or enabling customers to pay faster and more securely. Payment success is at the heart of all of this, and this is something we obsess over at Primer. As an agnostic infrastructure, we have unique visibility across the entire payment stack, providing us with amazingly powerful data across our merchant base. Now, our data team is relatively new, but they've been hard at work building a game-changing new service, a, a phrase I don't take lightly, which we call Primer Adapt. Primer Adapt is an expanding set of services which leverage an ever-growing number of data points from across the Primer ecosystem to dynamically optimize your flows for payment success. These are Adaptive 3DS, Adaptive Routing, and Adaptive Failovers. Adaptive 3DS is able to predict with a high degree of accuracy whether or not customers will be prompted for 3D Secure. It will also prompt customers for 3D Secure in the event their card has been declined on the basis of authentication required, resulting in less friction for customers and fewer lost payments. Adaptive Routing will dynamically select from your processes those with the highest likelihood of authorizing any given transaction. Not all processes and acquirers are built the same, and authorization rates vary over time. This is major. Adaptive Failovers tracks uptime and performance of processes across our entire ecosystem in order to fail over intelligently, resulting in more payments and less chance of duplication and having to cancel or void payments when incidents occur. We'll be rolling out Primer Adapt incrementally over the coming months, starting with Adaptive 3DS, and we'll be sharing some of our data and insights soon as things progress. And now finally, something for finance teams. In the past couple of months, we've had the pleasure of working with Uber, Airbnb, TripAdvisor, and many others who have kindly shared their challenges around managing internal financial operations, which has given us an amazing steer for establishing the Commerce Ops team at Primer. As we've spoken with more merchants across Primer, we've identified these key pain points. Finance teams typically need to log into each processor portal, gather and combine data into a unified format for their ERP and accounting tools. If they've built custom solutions, they require ongoing maintenance and months of upfront engineering effort. There's inherent fragmentation of data across transaction requests and settled payments to your accounts, leaving room for error and variances as there's no single source of truth. This creates a black box where merchants fail to understand the fees they're paying and why. And this is why we're launching Reconciliation, the first of many Commerce Ops products on Primer. 
with Primer's unified visibility across not only your payment providers, but other services which touch money movement throughout the entire commerce lifecycle, we've been able to build a unified ledger upon which we can solve for some of the most complex of financial operations. So this is how it works. Primer collects settlement data from your processors automatically via APIs, SFTP, and other methods, bringing this to one place where financial operations can be performed seamlessly. We'll match settlement data against your unified Primer ledger to identify conflicts and provide you with the tools to resolve these easily. Reconciliation is made all the more complex due to tricky cutoff time, so this can be easily handled by reassigning transactions across batches. And once your batches have been reconciled, you can sync this with your accounting, BI, and other tools. We're aiming to release this by the end of this quarter, and we'll be onboarding beta merchants soon, so get in touch if you'd like to participate or learn more. And so that just about concludes Primer's first ever product keynote, and I hope you're as excited about many of our products and features as, as we are. And really, we're just scratching the surface in, in many of these areas. And now I'd really like to take a moment to shout out the entire Primer team. They've worked so amazingly hard to get us to this point. And I really mean it when I say we have some of the smartest and hardest working people in payments and commerce today working for us at Primer. And, and it's a, an absolute delight to see what they're able to achieve on a daily basis. So thanks so much for joining us today and please check us out at Primer.io.